Hello, I am Magnus Kullberg from Burton, Scandinavia. Today I will show you a Halberasi 43. It's a Mark 1 from 2002 with the name Fredrika. In 2015 I sold this boat to the current owners who took it to Adam's Boat Care, where it's actually right now uh, located, for a refit and preparation for a Caribbean sailing trip. In fact, it just arrived back to Sweden about two months ago. As you can see, it has a big, nice Rockna anchor. And there is about 55 meter of 10 millimeter chain. As on every Halvarasi, there is uh, nice grab rails installed on the coach roof. The rig is an inmast furling, electric inmast furling. It has mainsail and Genoa from 2012. It also comes with a spinnaker pole, a jenaker on a furler, and a storm jib. Let's walk on board. In the back of the boat, uh, you find uh, two large storage lockers, and also you will see the Zodiac dinghy and uh, a four horsepower outboard. It has a hydraulic aft stay tensioner and here is a crane for the dinghy outboard. View of the cockpit and uh, four winches Three of them is electric. The winches for the main sheet is Lumar 40 and for the Genoa it's Lumar 54. Also the deck gear is Lumar. Here is a close look of the teak deck. The wood looks good. And here you see the life raft, which is six person. And it was serviced in 2019 and is good until 2022. And here we are at the forward deck. And here you can see the deck layout. And we're walking back for another close look of the teak deck. The standing rigging was replaced in 2019. And uh, the electric motor for the inmast furling was replaced uh, this year. In front of the windscreen, you can see the bimini. 
and in the back of the cockpit you see the spray hood cockpit extension. Much of the navigation equipment was replaced in 2019. This includes the two multi-instruments and also the control for the autopilot. Here you also have the maneuvers for the mainsail and the electric bilge pump. Behind the windscreen is a 12-inch Raymarine plotter, which is also new. Here is a view of the cockpit speakers and original ST60 sailing instruments. And let's take a look on the inside. Interior is made of uh, mahogany. You see it has a layout with two sofas. Directly to starboard of the entrance is the galley, which we will look at a little bit later. And to the port side is the navigation area. Let's move forward towards the forward cabin. When you enter, you have a lot of cupboards to starboard. And on the port side is the bathroom. And we will now go into the forward bathroom. And here you find an electric toilet with fresh water flushing. It's a nice shower area and behind this door is a washing machine. Moving out and uh, back into the saloon. Here is a view from the forward cabin. The upholstery is of Alcantara. There is a solid saloon table with folding sides and storage in the center. And here we have a look at the galley. Which is a very good galley for seagoing cooking. Behind the nav seat is a deep freezer. Behind the doors is the Volvo D2 75 horsepower engine. It had a big service in 2016. And the engine hours is now 3,200. And here we have the very spacious owner's of cabin. With a double berth to starboard. And a single berth on the port side. Walking into the bathroom, here you find a shower area and an electric toilet. Also this toilet has a fresh water flush. Up here on this wall you see the flushing of the toilet and also the display for the Spectra water maker. The water maker had a service in 2019 where also the membranes was uh, replaced. Now we will take a look at the navigation area. Here you will see the Raymarine 9-inch plotter, the satellite phone 
the Nabtex, the VHF and the weather station. I hope this video has caught your interest in this boat and if you're looking for more information please check our website and of course feel free to contact me anytime. Thanks for watching this movie.